Hey Aries, so I'm sorry for the delay, I know last time I came on I did explain that I'd had a few health um, issues and things like that, they are still going on, I'm having some tests done and stuff like that, but we're going to go for it, we're just going to, 2024 is going to be that year where we all get the answers and we can cut off the old circles, so let's go for it so i'm starting off with an affirmation if you are on my patreon don't worry patrons will be back up and running tomorrow so i'm starting off with an affirmation for my aries and we have everything will work out in the end basically what i was just saying <laughs> everything will work out in the end so i want to get you a numerology Aries, see what's going on. That eclipse season. What did everyone think of that? It knocked me for six. Teaching and learning. Someone else had this earlier. I think it was Taurus. We've got a number 57, so you may start seeing fives and sevens. All sorts of notes to a 12, which is a free numerology house. Teamwork makes the dream work. It's the Christ number. It's uh, working with your spirit guides and your ascended masters. We've got teaching and learning. Well, every day we're learning and hopefully we'll be able to teach the next generation or a new person that comes in, teach them something. So it could be about, you know, finding out knowledge, passing on knowledge. So there's aspects of that around you, Aries. So I'm going into the Psychic Tarot. I mean, I just heard a funny noise then. It's the cat. How do I know? Because he's a prat. And anyone who's met Zeus will agree. So he's got into something, if I can hear it. They drive me insane. Aries, you are starting new beginnings this week. This week is an energy of new beginnings, new exciting things, shutting old doors behind you. Could be an aspect of that. Teaching and learning, you know, and everything will work out in the end. So you may be at a point of you're not really wanting to shut those doors or you may be at the point of I want to drop kick that door shut. I want it ended, done, gone. Boo, I've learnt that lesson. <laughs> you know, that's how, and we are in that eight year, we're in that karmic year. So there's a chance of new beginnings this week. What are you stepping out into? Travel could be significant as well. We've got two major arcanas. This week is significant, Aries. We've got the universe, the number 21, again, which is a free. So you've got a lot of freezer on you. Num numbers could be significant, but again, two major arcanas. You've got the universe saying that you are ready to birth new ideas, new beginnings. There's something that you are going out to do. So it could be a new beginning in relationships, you know, looking back at what you've learned from the past and moving forward. It could be business. It could be a new way of living. You know, it's quite exciting. Oh my God, another major arcana. We've got solitude, Virgo energy there. Some of you may have Virgo in your chart. If so, always check your moon rising and Venus in the Taurus reading. I kept saying about your Venus, I kept being drawn to Venus, and then the Venus card came out. So all the Tauruses needed to go and look for the Venus then. But solitude, um, solitude is not a bad card, it's learning. Again, you've got this energy of wisdom, teaching, learning. She's sat there in that solitude. So it's like... Virgo, Virgo, that's why I'm calling you Virgo now. Aries, this is a week where you're kind of accumulating all the, I wanted to say evidence then, don't know why I wanted to say evidence, but I'll take it as it resonates, uh, information, evidence, whatever, um, you're accumulating it, it's like you're kind of revising, you're going through everything, all the nooks and crannies of the details and things. This week is a, is a week for details, but it's a major arcanic event. So you're setting the wheels in motion for something. Three major arcanas. You've got to make sure that you don't let discontentment and boredom switch you off path. Some my Aries, sometimes you do mistake peace for boredom. But that could be because if you've had a very like toxic energy in your life um, or life has been a roller coaster and stuff. I know I went through that. I did mistake peace for boredom. But we've got this here. So I do feel like there is a wobble during the week as to, well, how is all this going to happen? How am I going to do all this? There's a wobble here. It's a four. Fours are about security, stability, that type of thing. I just want to get one more 
patience and planning, babies. The number seven. It's about being patient. Rome wasn't built in a day. Give yourself a bit of time. So I want to clarify some of these. So I want to clarify the discontent and boredom first, actually. Disarmony triggers and conflict. So you may not want to cause any disarmony triggers and conflict. Um, you may be kind of keeping yourself small because you don't want to get involved in that. Sometimes that's a good thing, but you've, you should always speak your truth in no matter what situation. I learned that the hard way. Always speak your truth. But it's like sometimes if you've got a dream, sometimes it's better not to tell your dream to the naysayers because they put you off. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, that's stupid. Narcissist. Um, do you know what I mean? So I do feel like there's an energy of not getting caught up in other people's energies because the week looks like it's going really well. It's all major arcana. The only downfall was that, that little bit and I feel it's other people. Right, your Venus has come out. Your Venus is open to new offers. Well, Venus runs finances and romance. So whether it be you're going out there for a new job, a new career change, something to do with finances, you're buying into something, or you are actually open for uh, for romance. So if you're saying, like, I, I don't know, say I want to go on dating sites, and you've got, oh, God, no, don't do that. But just kind of do what's right for you. But then you've got all this, this solitude, the learning, the lessons, that type of thing. You're a big boy, you're a big girl, Aries, and you can make your own decisions. I kind of want to say, don't let people pull you off because the road that you're going on, everything will work out in the end. So, I'll see you soon. Bye.